how to use Asana for project management. Hi guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you all about Asana.com. I will show you all of the features and tools and show you how to use the dashboard of Asana and a pricing plan as well. So you will have a better idea if Asana is the right choice for you or not. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will simply go to Asana.com and you will land on this platform right here. Asana is world's leading project management software with Asana, you can manage your work and get more productive. Asana gives you your own workflow and your workspace to create your own tasks and boards in order to manage your team and save your time. So to get started with Asana, you can simply go ahead and click on sign up. It will allow you to sign up for Asana. The signing up process is really easy. You can simply sign up with your Google account or your email address. Once you sign up for Asana, this is the dashboard that you will get. If we talk about the different features available on Asana, we get My Task, Inbox, Reporting, Portfolios, Goals, App Integrations, and more. Before you sign up, you will obviously need to choose a plan. So that brings us to the pricing plans of Asana. Let me actually show you. So we will have a better idea about the affordability of the platform. So when it comes to the pricing plan, we are getting three plans right here. The first one is a basic plan, which is going to be $0 per month. Then we have a premium, which is going to be $10.99 per user per month built annually and $13.49 if built monthly. Then we have a business plan, which is going to be $24.99 per user per month built annually and $30.49 if built monthly. So this is the pricing plan that we have on, uh, you know, Asana. The pricing plan is pretty reasonable. All of the features are listed below. We get unlimited essentials. We get uh, project views, reportings and security, community support. With the features will increase with the pricing. So once you select your plan, then you can simply sign up for Asana. So after the initial sign up, this is the dashboard that you get. This is my dashboard on Asana. Let me show you how to create a task and how you can manage your team with Asana. Now, the first step is going to be creating your own workspace and creating your new project on Asana. Let's go ahead and create a new project. I want to add a new project and I want to create a, you know, project for my YouTube team. So I will simply click right here on create project. Now we have three options, blank project, use a template or import a spreadsheet. Let me actually show you different templates available on Asana. When it comes to the templates, we get a lot of different templates. You can see right here, we have cross-functional project plan, work request, meeting agenda, event planning, then we have business plan, bug tracking, customer feedback. So we can go with any kind of different, you know, template. We have sales, marketing, HR, IT, design, and more. For now, I'm going to go ahead and select a template maybe for my team management. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here it says IT project plan so I can select this one now keep in mind that you can either go with a template or you can start from the scratch as well but starting from the scratch is also really easy you can simply use a template so let's say that I want to start from the scratch so I will simply click right here, create a blank project. Let's create a blank project so I can show you how you can create everything from the scratch. You simply add your project name. I'm going to go ahead and call it YouTube videos. There you go. Now we have privacy. So you can add public to marketing, private to project management or private to me. So I'm going to go with private to me for now. Then we have default views. We have list or board. So I'm going to go with a board view because I personally prefer a board view, but we get all of these different views such as list, timeline, calendar, and more. So I'm going to go with a board view. You can also go with a calendar view. You will get the preview right here. Let's go with the board view and continue. Now, 
what do you want to do first? Start adding task, share with teammates or set up a workflow. So let's go to projects and let me show you how you create different tasks and everything. So this is my new project, which is YouTube videos. This is how you create a new project. Now I have all of my views right here, board. Then we have list. I have timeline and I have calendar view as well. Then we have workflow and more. In more, I have dashboard, messages and files. To share your workspace, you can simply click on share right here and it will allow you to share your workspace. To invite members, you will find the option right here, invite members. YouTube videos, I'm going to click on invite. To invite someone, you simply add their email address, choose the project you want to invite them to, and click on send. And it will send an invitation on their email. Then we have our home option, my task, inbox, reporting, and portfolio right here. So to create a new list, what you have to do is you simply click on this option right here in progress or add. To add a new list, you will simply go ahead and add a section right here and give this section a name. Let's go ahead and call it. So I have added ideas and plans. I have four lists now. I have to do in progress, complete or ideas or plan. Let's go ahead and add a task in to do. So simply click right here on add task or right here. Give your task a name. Let's call it task two. Click enter. Then you can create another task. Task three, enter. Task four, enter. You can simply click on the task and it will open up a window for you. And in here, you can simply go ahead and add an assignee. Let's go ahead and assign it to myself. Then we have due dates. You can add a due date for your task right here. And you have projects. This is the project. You can add description, subtask, and more. Then we have the option of attachments, link, and then we can add more actions such as adding a tag make dependent, mark as approval, convert, duplicate or print. So I'm going to go ahead and add a tag of, let's give it a pink color. There you go. And now I will simply close the tab. You can see right here, this task has been created. Let's say that this task is in progress. So I will simply drag it and drop it right here. And let's say that task two is completed or maybe task one is just an idea or plan right now and i'm looking to add it to my to-do list once i'm done with the idea and it's confirmed i will simply move it to to-do and then assign it to my team member and they will simply move to in progress and complete as they proceed that is how it works on asana and it's super easy and customizable you can also customize your workspace by this option right here click on customize and you can customize it by adding different fields and apps as well. We have all of the integrations available such as Google Meets, Microsoft Teams, Slack, Drive, Zoom, Gmail and more. Then we have task templates that also allow us to customize our own workspace. And then we have forms option available. If you want to go to my task, you will simply click right here and it will take you the task assigned to you. You can also get a calendar view and add a task on different dates. Then we have goals option right here where we can simply go ahead and add our business goals and it will help you motivate your team. Then we have reportings, which allows us to check the reportings and insight for our team. And you can know that which person is doing what work and you will have a better idea with the graphs and pie charts. You can simply go back to any of the different you know, projects that you have. You can simply go ahead and switch between your projects from here. Let's go back to home. This is my home and in here I will be able to check all of my different projects. And again, I can open it up and then start customizing it and adding my task. And this is how you simply use asana.com to manage your team. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.